I didn't know that this was weird. I don't know, like why put the month first? Why? Like yeah. just put it in order. It's so <laughs> annoying. If someone sent me the date like that, I would definitely be arriving on the wrong day. <laughs> So can you please tell me something that you think is weird that Americans do from your perspective? I am always shocked by the size of Americans' cars. Mm. We seem to have the biggest cars in the world. Uh, I've never thought that particularly, unless it's an 18-wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> I think I also noticed like driving is such a huge thing. Yeah. I guess like, you know, people don't usually like go for just like casual walks necessarily. Mm. They'll like, even if it's like five minutes away, they won't like walk 20 minutes, they'll like drive five minutes yeah. somewhere instead. Yeah. And I'm always like, why don't you just that walk? That's true. Like yeah. my whole family pressures me to learn to drive because that's normal mm. in America. Everyone learns to drive. Some people illegally start learning to drive when they're like 13. Oh my God. Mm, oh, so is true. that weird? A little, I mean, yeah. I feel like I won't know that these things are weird because mm. I'm used to them. Do all your neighbors have flags at their houses? I, it's not that severe, oh. <laughs> but it's a, it depends on your neighborhood. If it's not outside your house, would it be inside your house? Yeah, I'm sure plenty of Americans have the flag inside their house somewhere, like whether it be on a t-shirt or a towel mm -hmm. or like a, a 4th of July decoration. Like for 4th of July, we put that baby everywhere. <laughs> what about in your classrooms? Like, is there a flag? Oh yeah. 100% always. We don't have that. <laughs> we no. don't have it either. You gotta no. remind them where they are. <laughs> are they gonna forget? <laughs> not not too, if right? you have the flag everywhere. Yeah, true. So in the UK and Australia, do you do the Pledge of Allegiance every morning? Can you what explain what is the Pledge of Allegiance then? You just every morning, you like before class, you go, I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And uh, yeah. to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. I swear, like, now that, even if, though I have not done it in over 10 years, mm -hmm. that I can do it just now if I remember a little bit, why does it kind of feel like, mm -hmm. not in a very bad way, but I'm just surprised I remember that. Because mm -hmm. I did it every morning. Yeah, we don't do that at all at wow. school. Like we have a weekly assembly, like all the grades in the in the school will come and then we can we'll sing the national anthem, mm. but we don't do it every day. It's not a daily thing. At my school, we didn't even sing the national anthem. Oh, really? I don't oh. actually know all the words. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. You um, felt this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I visited America, I never thought I'd be able to finish my meal. I yeah. mean, I never knew until I traveled outside of America. And mm -hmm. then I felt like I finally don't have to get a to-go box. Yeah, that's the only good thing I'd say is like yeah. you pay one price and you do get like seconds to take mm -hmm. home, which is good, yeah. but no. so much waste, yeah. honestly. Very wasteful. I think it's a problem. I mean, because I've noticed like always the option to like upsize is so cheap. Like mm. it'll be, I don't know, 12 bucks mm. for your meal. And then it's like, do you want to upsize it for like three bucks and you get yeah. an extra like, yeah. so I think it's a marketing yes, right? tactic as well. Right, mm. yeah. Ah, uh, this confuses me every time. I, I didn't know that this was weird. I don't know, like why put the month first? Why? Like yeah. just put it in order. It's so annoying. <laughs> if someone sent me the date like that, I would definitely be arriving on the wrong day. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be arriving yesterday. Or like in three months time. Yeah. yeah. I understand. And now I'm always like scarred. I'm always like worried because I'm like, are they American? Did they write it in their version? Yeah. Or are they not? Do they yeah. write it the right way? So that's why like, if it's a date where the month and the day can be like swapped out, I'm always panicking. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah. And then there's some countries that do it just completely opposite. Oh, like yeah, year, 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 month, yeah. day. It's okay though, because that still makes sense. But, wow, if yeah. they shorten the year to just 23, then I start oh. to question things a little bit. Mm. Oh, yeah, that, yeah be... that makes it even more confusing. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mm. My mum uses this. Really? I think when they were in the school in like the 70s, they used Fahrenheit. So I'll tell my mum the temperature and she'll say, oh, that is maybe 80 Fahrenheit. And every time I have to say, mum, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I didn't know that the UK ever used Fahrenheit. Wow, I think once upon a time. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. We don't know anything Fahrenheit. Like, mm. I think 
only in school, maybe in science, they'll just mention it briefly, but it's not like we ever will see it or... Yeah. I see. So also like feet, mile, yeah. inch. Mm. Mm. You don't use that type of pounds. Oh, it's a different pound? It's like the money, you know? Uh, oh, that? Money. But I mean like the weight. Is it yeah. the same stones? Stones. Crazy. Stones yeah. and ounces. So did you ever have an experience where you got confused between degrees and Fahrenheit, Celsius yeah. and Fahrenheit? I definitely think I have because before I learned metric system and I had friends from other countries, you know, we'd be like, oh, hey, how's your day? What's the weather? They would say like, I'm so dying hot right now, it's 30. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, that's cold. Mm -hmm. What is that in Fahrenheit? Maybe 90-ish degrees. 30 degrees Fahrenheit is colder, mm. much colder. Because your freezing is like 32 degrees, right? Yeah. Yeah. It just makes sense for freezing to be zero. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> I, don't ask me why it's 32. <laughs> is this like, uh, yeah, it's it's only in America? I mean, how, how is it in the UK? Like, I think in the UK it can really vary, but there's definitely been some gap. As a child, I've locked myself in the bathroom and had to climb out. I feel like as kids, we would just do that for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Lock the door and yeah. climb under yeah. so the next person yeah. can't use it. No, but that's creepy. Like, I always think of like, not that, I mean like the gaps. <laughs> it's not creepy, but it's kind of nasty. Why are you well, crawling yeah. on the floor? I don't yeah. know. I'm always thinking like, what can I put to like, kind of cover or like, mm. I don't know, stick like my bag or like yeah. an umbrella or something. People could literally see They everything. And they do. I mean, sometimes. Yeah, but yes. I was just, I mean, I'm so used to it. I thought it was normal. So when I first went to a bathroom that was all closed off, I was like, hmm. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Actually, my first thought was like, I'm trapped. Oh, <laughs> but then it was nice and I prefer it. Mm. Do you know why there's such a big gap? Honestly, I don't know if it has a purpose. Maybe it's so you can forever pass someone toilet paper. That is useful. Because yeah. we do that a lot. Like, like hey, can you ha please hand me some toilet paper? It's, it's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, I thought all pharmacies were like this. In the UK, our pharmacy is often combined with cosmetic stores. So you can buy all of your body care stuff. Mm -hmm. And then if you need your cold medicine, you yeah. just go and get it. Yeah, because in America, it's like the pharmacy, all beauty products, like sometimes toys for kids, mm -hmm. and a big snack aisle with sometimes like fresh fruits. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like bananas and apples. Yeah, you can, it's a one-stop shop for real. You can get everything. That's handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're similar to you, like our chemists or pharmacists it's like the medicine and then it's like body products or like beauty, yeah. perfume, stuff like that. Yeah. So I guess yeah. we've got similar. Yeah. I don't know, maybe Americans, like because everything is so far apart, oh, we maybe. wanted it to be like have everything you need. Do you often like go for groceries there or would you always like go to a supermarket instead? Um, I personally didn't go there for groceries, only oh. snacks. Snacks, drinks beauty products and the pharmacy. Would you go there for snacks if you didn't need to use the pharmacy? Yeah, a lot of people do. Ah. Yeah, Because we don't really have snack stores. When you're in the road traveling, the only places to get snacks are the gas station or a pharmacy like CVS. Really? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I grew up for a long time using the microwave to make my tea. Really? Until Yeah, until I realized, like, I'm a really big tea drinker, so mm. we bought a kettle. Wow. If you need to boil water... Yeah. Pot. Oh. Pot. Pot on That's the so stove. Strange. That seems really backwards yeah. <laughs> for us. Really? We would only do that if for some reason the kettle broke. Exactly. We didn't have one. I mean, now that I have a kettle, I use it to boil all water because it's more convenient. So convenient. Yeah, yeah, but for like my whole life, even if my grandma like, so she boils a big pot of water on the stove, adds the tea bags, sugar, that way in like the pot. What about like your like two minute noodles or something? Microwave. I mean, what do you guys use the microwave for? Like heating up food mm, or... Leftovers? Yeah. We use it for everything. 
<laughs> That's so interesting. Even to like heat pack, anything, neck towels, baby bottles, mouth guards you use when you sleep to help not grind your teeth, everything microwave. Oh. Would it be like, because I know in the UK like tea is like a very, mm. it's like its own culture almost like right. would it be like almost a sin if you were to heat your tea in a microwave or make it in a Reheat microwave it in the mic yeah or like if someone's like i'm gonna put on tea let me just chuck it in the microwave would people be like what mm. are you on it wouldn't yeah. taste the same 100 percent mm. would not taste the same right. yeah. interesting <laughs> would i be offended if someone made my tea in the microwave i would say what are you doing <laughs> I would also be really confused though if you went to make my tea with a pot of water on the stove. Less so than a microwave. I think microwave is like top weird mm -hmm. and then a pot and then the kettles obviously like. Wow. In America it's so normal. <laughs> so normal. Interesting. Wow. The kettle. Yeah. Really? The kettle. Even more than the bathroom? Yeah. Although I think the Pledge of Allegiance or your constant like anthem every day, yeah. flag every day, standing with your like, you know, hand on your heart for your flag every day. I think that might be slightly weirder never, than the kettle. I never thought that was weird. <laughs> I think lots of countries do that though. They mm, maybe. pledge allegiance to their country mm. at the beginning of the day or the week. Mm. Today we talked about weird things that Americans do. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.